Howdy folks, TJ here. Time to do another EcoFlow video. Uh, kind of real world stuff like I've done before. One of the best videos I've done to date on the EcoFlow was when I ran a full size refrigerator on what's in here, this little uh, uh, supply bag. Uh, I have got the EcoFlow River, uh, River Pro. Uh, EcoFlow 600 River Pro, something like that. It's a river and it's a pro and it's their top of the line river version. And you can connect an extra battery to it. So I did a whole video on how long it would run my big size refrigerator. And that did pretty well because it was a real world thing that a commoner like me at home power goes out, what am I going to do? So it's been a while and I thought the next video I would do is this thing's been sitting on the shelf for a while. What is the shelf life per se of a EcoFlow that the common man like me uh, got through a power outage, charged it back up, stuck it out in the garage and until another day. Now I know there's probably proper battery ethics Essex, I don't know what the word would be for, but proper battery uh, maintenance where every X amount of months you're supposed to charge it up or deplete it, all that. The common man's not going to do that. L some people will. Me, I'm kind of hit and miss on that. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But I use this in a big power outage of late December, early January uh, of this last year. So it's been sitting now for about six months in my garage that can get hot and cold and I thought I would do a video of I'm going to take it out of the bag and see what percentage of charge it says I'm still at. It was up at 99% or whatever it was. Is it going to read zero? Is it going to read half? I don't know. So we're going to be the guinea pigs of this and uh, we're going to turn it on out here in the garage and then after I show what percentage is in, I'm going to take my set power, say the power goes out. And that's why I came out here six months later to keep some stuff cool that's in the refrigerator of importance. Whether it's some booze or some uh, truffles, I don't know, whatever you want to keep cold. Uh, I'm going to use it as a refrigerator though. Normally, uh, in a power outage situation, sure, there's stuff, some stuff you need to keep frozen. But realistically, I'm just going to kind of try to keep some stuff cold. And so I'm going to use this set power in my back bedroom. And see how long the battery, at whatever percentage it was, uh, keeps it running for. Kind of a real world test. So stick around with me. Let me go ahead and take this out of the, the, the baggie. And then I'll take the camera over. We'll turn it on. We'll show the percentage. And we'll start a test and see how long it's going to run this set power RB45D for. Uh, because I put some important things in there. Watermelon. Vodka. Uh, I don't know, something, it's just going to be water <laughs> for this test, but you get the gist. So, real world test of a common dude that's not properly, probably maintaining the battery. Probably at three months I was supposed to trickle it down and charge it back up and store it again for another three. I don't know. I'll have to research that. For, for some reason, three months rings a bell. Uh, I prefer six months, and that's what today is, six months. Okay? So, hold tight. We'll go back in the back bedroom, set it all up, turn it on, and see what the heck percentage it's at. And we're going to run this refrigerator and see how long it lasts. Hold tight. Okay, I'm back in my back bedroom. Uh, it's a computer nerd room. So you're going to see a lot of electronics behind here that I stage for use and testing. In fact, out in my garage where you just came from, I had all of our camping supplies right behind where this was. So don't think it was too messy, although it's a little messy. But yeah, we had all of our camping stuff in one of our bays ready for a camping trip coming up here in the near future. Uh, so I had all that out as the backdrop. Now the backdrop is computer nerd room with computer nerd stuff. And this is a little nerdy, right? Electronics, uh, cool uh, solar generators and all this fun stuff, uh, 12 volt fridges. So I have not turned this on for six months. What charge will be on here? So I'm gonna turn it towards here. I, you, we may not see when it pops up, but I'll tell you what it is. So uh, how, do, how do I turn this thing on? It's been a while. Okay, I've got everything connected. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, here's the button on the on off. 99 hours, 100%. Six months, 100%. Now is that a fake 100%, a real 100%? I would say this is smart electronics. It should be pretty damn accurate, right? Uh, can you see the 100% from there? Let, let me, I'll move this off here instead of bringing your camera down. Look at that. So 99 hours, because I have nothing turned on yet, but it does say 100%. I have 
The 12 volt receptacle connected to my RV45D set power. Haven't turned this on for a while either. Last time I turned this on was the last uh, video that I did on this. And when was that? Earlier this year, I think. So 99 hours, 100%, zero input, zero output. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And turn this on. It's on max. I should probably set it on eco. Turn the temperature down. I've got the little divider in here that you can keep both things at uh, different degrees. I think I'm going to remove that. Uh, or Let's go ahead and turn these things down. Let's see. Zero. No, I think I'm going to just make it all refrigerated. I didn't need to do a freezer thing on this. Freezer would definitely burn through time pretty quick. Let me pop this open. Oh. Put this down here. Let's take the divider out. So this whole thing becomes one big refrigerator. Put this back up top. And let's change the temperature. What are we going to do? Um, is this all a refrigerator or all a freezer right now? <laughs> I forget what the heck it was. Let's turn it up to 40 degrees. I think 40 is a good all around. You're out camping, if you can keep shit 40 degrees, cherry, right? If it's 50 degrees, not so much. You don't have to keep stuff on, right on the verge of freezing, right? So starting at 84 degrees, it's got a lot of cooling down. No, I didn't pre-cool this because I had no idea the power was gonna go out, right? So let's just set this up and see how it goes. So we'll come back another day, one day, Two day, 12 hours, I have no idea what this is gonna do because this has to cool it down, first of all, get it to temp. I have nothing in here. Maybe I'll go slam some water in here a little bit later. But anyway, it's on eco mode, 84 degrees, and we'll see how this all pans out. Stick around. Actually, one more thing. I forgot to say uh, what juice this thing's pulling from it right now to try to get everything cold. Still says 84 degrees, by the way. It's gonna take a while for this to cool down, I guess. But it says right now, it's fluctuating between 14 and 17 hours. It says 100% battery life. It's pulling anywhere from 43-ish to 52-ish watts right now in this eco mode, trying to cool things down. I could probably put it in max mode for a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and be a little crazy today. We're going to put it up in max mode. Maybe that will cool it down a little quicker. It's going to pull power from it more probably too. Uh, but yeah, it's up. The, it, it looks like it's about. The, oh no, it, it, there was a 59er on there, 59 watts. So it is boosting things up a little bit. So I did put a couple of gallons of water in here. That's it. No, no watermelons. No packed to the gills, which would be better test. But anyway, let's leave it like this for about an hour. Come back, check out uh, how many hours we've got left. See if this thing is even cooled down. Still says 84 degrees. That's not a good sign. It's already been a few minutes, right? Shouldn't it uh, be getting down towards 40? I set it at 40. Uh, anyway, we'll come back. All right, folks, I finished my test. It's not rocket science on this test, but still loving my River Pro. Let me put this bad boy down. So the test is gonna be different for everybody. Obviously for me, I've only got a particular brand and model of a refrigerator. And I probably should have used the RV45S that I've shown in a past video. I'm going to stuff in my mouth. I'm just outside with the dogs playing with them like a fur in my mouth. Anyway, the RV45S did really well last year when I, or the previous year. I'm trying to remember when I got it off of this River Pro. I was able to get a good three days out of a full charge on it. And... So I should have went with that in hindsight for the test because it was proven. I've done a test before on it. Now the RV45D, which is my newest, I had never done a long-term test other than just turning it on, connecting it to 110, and it cooled down, and everything seemed to be fine. But what I've run into is the RV45D, at least mine, and I am trying to work with set power to tell me whether this is just the way it is or whether mine's got a problem, but under 12 volt, it takes forever to cool down. Under 110, 
things seem to be fine. But under 12 volt, which is what most people will be using this out in the camping world, uh, I couldn't get down to zero after 12 hours of trying to cool down. To me, that seems ridiculously wrong. Uh, and in fact, the battery ran out because uh, it just kept running and running and running and running and running and running. It wasn't good. But set to 35 as a refrigerator, it took about an hour and a half to cool down to about 35 degrees, which still, still seems excessively long to me. The RV45S that I had, I think maybe took half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Everything just seems to be better on that model. But anyway, the RE45D does look cool, and it has both a, a freezer and a refrigerator at the same time, so I wanted to test it. I ended up just doing this test, 35 degrees, so if you just watch some of my preliminary stuff, I think I had set it to 40 uh, as a test that I wanted to send off the set power. I set both zones at 35 and uh, let it run. So how long did I get? Uh, about 36 hours and then I was down the 6% battery and I decided to call it a day because it was 9 or 10 o'clock at night and I didn't want the power to go out on the unit go down to zero my guess is if I would have eked it out I would have maybe got 40 hours uh, so not quite two days on it is that bad um, I don't know is it good I would say no if my other model did three days and this one didn't even get two days, I would say, no, the RV45D so far has not been great off of 12 volts. So hopefully I can get that rectified. But for the River Pro, which is what we're here for, I'm impressed. It, it, it retained after six months of not getting any power. Uh, it kept a 99% or 100% charge. I was able to run this refrigerator for almost two days. So under normal power outage, where most people were out like maybe a half a day or something, it would have did fine. I would have stuck stuff in there and I would have kept it cool and I could have went to the next day without a, any hiccups. So for that purpose, I think for this whole video, and uh, I could have made a video that was only 30 seconds, just turned it on and said, okay, it's 99% uh, after six months and, and, and then a video, but that would be a boring video. So I wanted to do some testing and stuff like that. So anyway, so how long can the River Pro sit on a shelf? and still retain good power, in my case, six months. Uh, I'm gonna contact uh, EcoFlow and ask them, how often should I recharge it? I don't know if the little user manual that came with it said, discharge it fully and charge it up every so often. For some reason, I think it's three months, and I think I said that earlier. But for me, six months seemed to be about right, and it worked fine for me. So, cool. Am I happy? Yeah, in fact, I have an extra battery, so I should have, should also add, if I was indeed in a longer term power outage, even with it being the R45D, which didn't last quite two days on it, I could have connected the secondary battery and technically got uh, uh, three to four days on a refrigerator from my little uh, EcoFlow power system. So to me, this was a positive. I'm very happy with the RV45D, and I can't wait to continue getting more EcoFlow products and test them out and hopefully I'll make some more videos on that. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found this useful or entertainment, uh, entertaining, something like that. Bye.